Have you ever experienced being in a situation where you felt a lot of stress and anxiety and it was quite difficult for you to come out of that situation? So perhaps that would happen more frequently to those who relocate to a new environment, such as international student. I had similar experience when I came for the first time to Malaysia in 2008 to pursue my master's studies in USM. At that point of time, I was a totally new person in a new environment. It was quite challenging for me to adjust my lifestyle and develop a new way of living here in this culture with regards to the norms and values of this country. Uh, and at certain point of time, it was quite um, challenging and I felt homesick and lonely and even stress and anxiety. But I tried to figure out how to come out of that situation by learning some of the cultural specific skills and experiencing the concept of Malaysia truly Asia and gradually adapted m myself to the vibrant culture of Malaysia. And I feel that Malaysia is my second home. So my experience as an international student triggered me to pursue my PhD studies and focus on the adaptation process of international students and to find out what kind of factors could make this process less problematic because identifying these factors and addressing them in time could benefit both international students and Malaysian society. But I was not uh, I was even more curious and didn't want to stop there. I wanted to even find out what kind of positive outcome that adaptation could bring about. So to tackle this issue, I designed and developed a model and surveyed 1,186 international students from top six public universities in Malaysia. And uh, since majority of these students come from Asia, Middle East, and Africa, so I use various statistical tests to understand the similarities and differences among these groups of students and decide what factors had the highest priority for each of these groups of students. It was quite interesting to find out that those factors, which I grouped them as individual and situational, were found to be positively and significantly related to their cross-cultural adaptation of international students. And besides, even that adaptation enhanced their psychological well-being and academic satisfaction and ultimately resulted in positive word of mouth in recommending Malaysian educational institutions to others. So, positive word of mouth is a promising way to propel Malaysia to its targets of becoming a regional education hub through attracting more international students by 2020. But not to forget to achieve and sustain social, cultural, economic and educational benefits of education internationalization, Malaysia needs to satisfy its customers first. And those customers are international students.